This could be atmospheric chemistry, or pollution from unseen volcanoes. But there's a chance, a not insignificant chance, that scientists have made the first clear discovery of life beyond Earth. This discovery was unexpected and a potential game-changer. The presence of airborne phosphine is a little like scat stumbled upon in the desert, a signal that life is in the neighborhood. But if, indeed, living organisms are floating in the dense air of Venus, it would enormously strengthen the argument that life isn't a cosmic miracle. For decades, scientists have pursued life in space in three ways. One is to simply search for it, the underlying motivation for sending many of the rovers that crawl across Mars. A second is to try to tune into alien radio transmissions. And a third scheme, less well known, is to use telescopes to examine the atmospheres of planets and moons for biomarkers, gases produced by life. Venus has long been called Earth's twin, primarily because the two planets are the same size. But it's not the favored twin, spacecraft have revealed a baked landscape, with temperatures pushing 900 degrees Fahrenheit. For decades scientists assumed Venus was a sterile hell and largely ignored it in favor of Mars or several of the water-rich moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Scientists pointed out that at 30 miles above the surface, the cloud temperatures drop to roughly the same as on a fall day in New York. The idea that some microbes could be floating in these extraordinarily dense and temperate clouds isn't outrageous. Such organisms could be the leftovers from simple life that may have been spawned during the billions of years that Venus had oceans, vast seas that eventually boiled away. They would be the microscopic refugees from a world that slowly went bad. <laughs>